Pulling over on the left is something that you're going to be asked to do quite a lot on your driving test. And if you do it incorrectly, you could end up hitting the curb. I'm going to check my center mirror, left mirror, signal left. I'm going to start going in towards the left now. Now, once the curb hits this place on my dashboard, I'm not going to go to the left anymore. I'm going to keep it straight and straighten up and keep it there the whole time until I come to a stop. That way, I know I'm not too far or too close to the curb. Now, when I'm turning right into the side road, I'm going to use the reference point so that I don't turn too early or too late. I'm going to wait until the wing mirror is lined up with the center line of this new road that I'm turning into. And then I'm going to make my turn into the road. That way, when I turn, I'm on my side without encroaching on the wrong side and also without hitting the curb on the left hand side there. Another issue that learners have is being too close to the vehicles that are parked up. A nice reference point you can use is using this line here as a reference point. So where the cars are parked up, the wheels on this side would make a line. Sometimes there's even lines where the parking bays are actually, and you can use that as a reference point. So right now it's in the middle of my dash, which means I'm not too close and I'm not too far away from them. If I was to bring this line closer, like here, this would be too close, which means if I was to drive past that car with the reference point being there, I would have been way too close to it. So to avoid that, I make sure that the line is just in the middle of my dashboard. But then once there's no more parked cars, I can use a bit more of the road now. I don't need to stay in the same position, otherwise I'm going to be getting too close to these guys out over there. So I can go back into the centre. And then once there's more parked cars, I can just check my mirror, and then move back to that reference point again, where that line is in the centre of my dash. That way I'm not too close to them. Another issue that learners have is going too far beyond the giveaway line when they're waiting to come out of the road. So here I've got the giveaway line here and to make sure that I don't go, I don't stop too early or too far beyond the, the giveaway line. So this would be too far away. I can't really see much and people behind me might be thinking, what's this guy doing? So to go in the correct position, I can go forward until the line is underneath my wing mirror. That way I know that I'm not too far forward and I can also see what's going on into the road as well. If I couldn't see because the road is blocked, I can go forward a bit more by making sure that I don't go too far beyond the giveaway line. So once this person has gone past, I'm gonna check again on the right and the left and then check again and then make my turn because it's safe to go. I can use the same reference point so that I don't go over the stop line at a traffic light. So like right now, if I stop here and look out the window, I can see that my wing mirror is just over the stop line. That way I know that my car is not over the stop line and I'm also not too far back. If I could see the line like somewhere over here, it would probably mean that I'm way too far over the line. Or if, the, if I can't see that line over there, or if it's too far beyond the mirror, it means that I'm too far back. So then I can move forward until it's just underneath the wing mirror. That way I know I'm in the correct position. Staying in the middle of your lane can be a tricky, especially if you're new to driving, but this reference point helps you to stay on the correct position. So right now I'm in the far left lane and I can use the curb on the side as a reference point. So the edge of the curb is right in the middle of my dashboard here, which means that I'm not too far to the left or not too far to the right. I can also use this line to see, make sure that I'm not too far on that side. So when this line is in the corner of my windscreen just there, I know that I'm in the right position and I'm not too far to the right and I'm not too far to the left. So I can use either of the two. This reference point works when you're in the middle lane as well. So to keep in the middle of this lane, I can use both lines. So that again, the left line here is in the center of my dashboard. That way I'm not too far to the left. And I know on this side as well, it's in, on the same position as before, just, just in the corner of my windscreen. That way I know I'm not too far to the right. If this like here somewhere, so you see that it's in a different place now, this means I'm too far to this side, which means potentially I'm going over the line and encroaching into that lane over there. And the same for this side. So if I was to be, if the reference point is here now, see, so it's not in the middle anymore, it's more like this side. This means I'm too far to that way and I'm potentially going into the other people's lane. So I need to make sure that it's back to this position, just there, and that way I know I'm in the right position. I'm not too far left and I'm not too far right. So here I can use this reference point to make sure that I don't go too close to the cars on the left. So the wheels on this side of those cars are lined up with the center of my, of my dashboard and my windscreen. So that way I'm not too close to them. I'm also thinking about the cars on this side as well. I don't want to be too far on that way and I can use this line in the center of the road and it's on the corner of my windscreen there, which means I'm not going over the line and I'm not too close to those cars over there. 
then as I approach this junction here, I can use this line to make sure that I'm in the correct position for turning right. So I'm bringing it to the center or to the corner of my windscreen. That way, I know I'm positioned in the correct position to turn right. When I'm turning left, I want to make sure that the curb disappears 